Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today's video is going to be a quick explanation of the difference between centrosomes and centrioles. Really quick, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon for notifications. Remember also that you can get a free PDF of the final board. Once all the notes are filled in, you can get that free PDF of the study notes if you look in the description below and go to that tiny URL. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So centrosomes versus centrioles. I find that students often will um, mix these up or even use these terms interchangeably and they are not interchangeable. So a centrosome is a structure that is made up of two centrioles. So the two centrioles are oriented at right angles to each other, or that's, that's uh, 90 degrees, so they're basically perpendicular. Uh, each centriole is a structure made up of nine microtubules. Now, I have an entire other video on the cytoskeleton where you can learn about microtubules, microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and their functions and structures. So check that out if you're interested. But here we've got each of these uh, centrioles made of nine microtubules. They're in a cylindrical array, so that just means that they kind of form like a cylindrical type structure, like a cylinder. Uh, and their location is that they're usually near the nucleus in the cell. Now, they are only found in animal cells and some protists, so you're not going to find centrosome composed of two centrioles in plant cells. They have different um, structures for organizing their microtubules. Now, if you're trying to kind of remember, wait, what does the centrosome do in the cell? Remember that the centrosome is that microtubule organizing center. It um, will actually, the centrosome will duplicate itself during cell division so that you'll have two centrosomes. They'll move to either side of the cell. Both of those centrosomes will have two centrioles. And that is where the, the the spindle, the, the spindle array, the mitotic spindle, grows from to attach to the chromosomes and pull them apart during cell division. Now, if you're still like, yeah, 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 centrosome, centriole, but I know I'm gonna mix it up on the test, then I've got some helpful hints for you, just to remember which word is which, which thing. So for centrosome, think about the fact that it ends in the word sum, and in English, the word sum means, you know, more than one. And so if sum means more than one, you can remember that the centrosome is composed of more than one centriole. Uh, and specifically two centrioles, right? And then for centriole, the way that I personally remember it, I live in the American South, and uh, there are people who will talk about, oh, you know, it's just little old me. And so this old right here, I think of little old me means just one. So just, um, you know, we're talking about the, a, a, a small thing, a piece that makes up a whole. So the centrioles make up the centrosome, where some reminds us that there's more than one involved there. So that's how I remember it. Um, make sure that you get that tiny URL below to get the free study notes. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you next time for more free biology study videos. Good luck and thanks for watching.